It was late January 2023. I was in Kalifi, a county in Kenya on the Indian Ocean. A few months earlier, I never would have imagined that I would ever see the Indian Ocean, yet here I am. We were a few miles inland as our group was driven in a seven-passenger vehicle along dusty country roads. I was en route to what is known as a distribution. A distribution refers to an event of compassion and celebration where leg disabled people are brought together for each one to receive his or her mobility card. This was my first. It was being held under a metal roofed, open wall building that seemed to be used as a marketplace of sorts. I was excited. I've seen many videos which have documented distributions both in Kenya and other countries. Sometimes as many as 75 people receive mobility cards. Here I am, part of an amazing event. Today, 15 people would be raised from the dirt and given the gift of mobility. The vehicle delivering the mobility carts arrived first. 15 mobility carts awaited the growing crowd of beneficiaries and their families. There are eight of us Americans joined by Kenyan staff of Partners for Care. The staff was experienced in conducting distributions and proceeded to assign to each American a Kenyan beneficiary. I was assigned to Dixon. Together, we opened the shipping box and began the 15-minute process of assembling Dixon's mobility cart. In spite of his obvious physical disability, Dixon eagerly took part in the assembly of the device that would change his life forever. Dixon used the wrenches to tighten the nuts and bolts which kept the seat in place. His disability did not extend to his mind, hands, or fingers. He was capable. Soon, Dixon and all the beneficiaries of this afternoon's distribution were seated on their assembled mobility carts for a group photo. Dixon's smile tells the story. His happiness, seen in his face, reveals the gratitude of his heart for the works of kindness which made his new life possible. As I worked with Dixon to assemble his ticket to opportunity, I represented each of you, the mobility worldwide supporters who made Dixon's encounter with his destiny possible. I thought of those who drilled the holes and deburred the sharp metal edges, those who built the parts and assembled the components into mobility carts, packed with loving care for safe delivery to the beneficiary, those who gave their time, talents, money, and resources. Dixon's opportunity for a life could not have happened if not for you. So what did I learn from Dixon? I learned that poverty can be measured in terms of access to opportunities. As a middle-class citizen of the United States of America, I take for granted the opportunities I've had in my life. As a leg-disabled man in Kenya, Dixon had virtually no opportunities. His only means of movement was crawling in the dirt. No opportunities leave you assigned to the role of a life as a beggar. Today, Dixon witnessed a miracle in his life. Today, Dixon received the gift of opportunities. His life was changed in an instant. Now, Dixon has mobility. He has the option to move about his community. He is enabled to engage in commerce, to experience dignity, and to provide transportation of life-giving water to his family's hut. There are many others who, like Dixon, seek dignity in their lives. They simply desire an opportunity to participate, not a handout. Because God created me, as well as you, as his child, and as a citizen of the United States of America, we have a unique opportunity. We are positioned to give opportunities for the leg disabled to experience a real life. These people are arguably the poorest of the poor. By giving people like Dixon, living in countries such as Kenya, the life-changing gift of mobility, we can share the love of Christ with others in a truly meaningful way. God has given us endless opportunities to love our neighbors. Let's not miss a single opportunity to be a brother to those whom Christ calls his children. Affluence used selfishly can be a curse but it's a blessing if invested in opportunities
for those who have none.